how long did it take from drawings to you guys getting a prototype car? Not much, actually. Uh, yes, honestly, like I said, I worked with the Japanese for more than 10 years now with Kyosho and Mugen before. I know that it was maybe a different times, but uh, back in the days when I said, okay, we, we want to try a different gear ratio in the gearbox. Maybe 10 years ago, they told me it would, took, it would take six months to do it. Just a bevel and a crown gear, different meshing, different machining. They said maybe it's going to take six months to do that. We did the full car in like 18 months, I would say, from zero to the box to the customers, which is an amazing, an amazing work because, you know, you have so many people involved like Kyosho, Automodel, the guy from Automodel designing, okay, he's going to go back and forward, back and forward. Okay, this and that and this that. And, and I know also now that we're working on the electric version because we have many, many customers that are asking for the electric versions. Everything as... as as many guys as you have in the loop, the more time it takes. But uh, it was already super fast, in my opinion, because when I was with TLR back in the days, it went, it didn't go that quick. And we had some issues when the car was released with the differentials and, and those kind of things that, you know, when you design a car starting from zero, so much work, so much, so many details that you can mess up. And, and I think Kyosho did an amazing job. Like the car was done in an incredible amount of time, like small, reduced, super quick, really efficient work also, because, you know, we, we also, you have the shipping, you have all the documents to do. So the setup sheet is not available at right now as we speak, but the car is there. The customers are having fun with it. And honestly, when you start from scratch with the blank sheet, the car doesn't have that many defaults. So I'm super, super happy about that. 